Hi, and we're here with Greg Wood from the Corel Photo Team. And uh, Greg, a little birdie told us you have some new software that's out now. You have your AfterShot 3 product that's out. And uh, I know that's really exciting for you guys. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what's new um, over the version 2 that we have uh, talked about in the past. Right. Well, first of all, thanks, guys, for uh, having me on. It's great to be with you. Um, and of course, with uh, Photo Plus Expo on, you know, we're really keen to talk about what's new in AfterShot. So the newest version is AfterShot 3. We just got into version 3.1. And uh, in that, we got some really amazing updates to uh, this raw processing software. I think the, uh, the most exciting thing we've got going this week is our rollout of our new camera profile for the Canon 5D Mark IV. The 5D Mark IV, I know a lot of the uh, a lot of people are always fighting to try to get those um, releases out there as quick as possible when it comes to profiles and getting that 5D Mark IV out there. I'm sure that was a you were working hard and and fast to try to get it in there quick, right? Absolutely, you always want to respond quickly, especially for a popular camera like that. And fortunately for us, we've built into AfterShot this unique capability to deploy cameras over the web. Uh, so we don't need to wait and send a patch out to pick up camera profiles. So um, in other applications, usually you do have to get a patch, and we used to do it that way too. But in the new AfterShot Pro 3, we've actually introduced a, uh, a, the capability to uh, install camera profiles remotely. So you can just check inside the app and, and download the newest profiles whenever you uh, see fit to do so. Yeah, that's awesome. I yeah. saw that inside the app, just to be able to go and see all of the different cameras that are currently available that I have not yet downloaded and just download the ones that I need instead of downloading all of them, um, you know, hence keeping the application nice and lean and mean. I like that a lot. Um, and then the idea of getting those uh, profiles quickly instead of having to wait for dot releases, right? Whereas you're sometimes waiting a month or up to sometimes a whole quarter before you get that dot release. That's that's great. Uh, it gives the power, I guess, to the photographer, right? Exactly. And it's more agile for us too, right? Because we can respond to people's requests a lot more quickly. Right in the yeah. app, we have uh, a communication, a feedback mechanism that people can tell us which camera profiles they want the most. So if they've heard about a camera that's coming out and they know they're, they're going to want it, they can really easily report that back to us. And that allows us, we keep score, right? And we look at which cameras are trending and we want to make sure that we're there first with our camera profile. So that's basically our goal here and it's what we can do. But when we're building in these web services to deploy these camera profiles, we can do a few other things. And these are all new in AfterShot Pro 3 too. So for example, we're able to, uh, we've got a huge array of plugins that we make available from the AfterShot community. We've got a plugin uh, development SDK that uh, if you've got a knowledge of C++ and you're a photographer, you can build these plugins and then share them with the community. And we can push them out through AfterShot uh, remotely. The other thing that is really popular these days, of course, is presets. And presets really accelerate your photo workflow if you want to give you some really quick looks um, to uh, get through your editing jobs uh, more quickly. And we can deploy those through this web service as well. So it's a really, really dynamic and fast way of deploying both content and camera profiles. Yeah, it's nice. So you basically have the cloud from internal to the software and you can see um, what add-ons there are and some are paid and some are free is what I can see here. And you download basically what you need at the time, right? That's it. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's great because it's kind of scalable. You can scale up and add the tools that you want. You only need to go and choose the camera profiles uh, that you want to add. And that, you know, that, that speaks back to another key theme you already mentioned, uh, which is our desire to be really light and high performance and really keep this a tight high performance package that isn't bloated in any way. What um, OS is, is this uh, geared for? Who is this for? Which photographers out there? People that are on Mac, people are on PC, Linux, or? Well, we inherited, uh, we, Corel acquired Aftershot some years ago, and it used to be this project called Bibble. And Bibble was amazing because it was this open, fast, um, and really wonderful photo uh, workflow project, and we wanted to be a part of that. So we acquired it, and when we acquired it, the support was there for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I think we're one of the only ones in the industry to provide support for these three platforms. And, and we love it because this is our, our approach that we're following really inher is, inherits what Bibble was doing in the past. That is, creating this uh, high-performance approach, which is really focused on workflow first, um, and uh, high quality images that 
you can uh, hack if you want to. So if you want to build this plugin, we provide an SDK uh, that you can build your own plugins and enhance the Aftershot workflow in the way that you see fit. Um, if you're not as advanced as being capable of building your own plugins, of course, you can just choose from all the other things that are available from either Corel or from the community, you know, and add presets as you see fit. So it's really a mixable and friendly kind of open approach on all three OSs. Right. Now, I know you said it's lean and mean kind of thing. It's it's basically made that way, right? Um, so how does it uh, deal with bringing in photos in comparison to other packages um, that are out there? How does it deal with, uh, let's say, libraries, cataloging, um, directory structures? How does that work? Well, in keeping with this um, hackable or, you know, very flexible approach to photo editing, we support both the file system and cataloging. So if you're using Lightroom, then you're very familiar with the, the benefits and drawbacks of working with catalogs. Um, they, have right. their, they have their times, right? And they can be very flexible and help you create a really great um, uh, way of managing your photos. But if you're like me and a lot of other photographers, uh, you know, I've had a system of storing my photos using file folder structure in Windows for many, many years. And I want to preserve that. So fortunately, Aftershot provides you with the flexibility to use both the file system and leverage whatever legacy um, uh, organizational system you've had in place and, and use catalogs as well. Right. Um, I know if there's you know, some photographers out there, especially like someone like myself, when you do a shoot that has literally thousands and thousands of photos um, and you have a client that's right in front of you, you just want to get in there kind of like darn, down and dirty and just get a photo and show it to them um, and do some basic edits. And that was always one of the things that bothered me um, with Lightroom was having to bring in all of those images. And it was just really lethargic and it took a long time. And even if it allowed me to go and work on the images immediately, then what happened was still the system itself was extremely slow because it was processing in the back end. So my understanding is we can kind of circumvent that a little bit by just dealing with this directory structure only instead of having to um, be forced to bring it into a catalog first, correct? Exactly, exactly. And what you're getting at now is really the number one thing that I think our customers would say they use Aftershot for. And that is that speed that comes from it. And there's two, two kinds of speed here. There's that really like performance where you've got a lot of raw images and you want to bring them into your catalog. You want to create catalogs or you want to convert them. So there's a performance speed and there's also productivity speed in terms of usability. And when you think about, hey, I want the flexibility of use both catalogs and the file system, that's what I think of that productivity side. But when it comes to just sheer rendering speed that's what we think about when we think about the performance of the product and together that really forms the number one thing that differentiates aftershot but that's that's just one of the products we have here we also have a, another wonderful photo editing product many people already know called paint shop pro and we've been very active with that and the most recent version of paint shop which only was uh, delivered to market uh, earlier uh, just at the end of the summertime uh, we've got new tools for working from templates and some very high-end photo editing features as well. So it's a really busy time for us here in the photo group at Corel. Very good. Yeah, this sounds like a really great product. We're very excited about it. And we're really excited that you guys have been so generous to offer Aftershot 3 for everyone who enters our giveaway that we're running in celebration of Photo Plus Expo for free which is fantastic. And everyone who enters um, can go and um, submit your email um, on Corel's website and you will be notified um, via email and with the information to download and install your own license. Yeah, that is great. That is great. So everyone that's listening, if they go over, if they have not yet entered that contest, they can go to contest.digitalphotographycafe.com and that will lead you back over to Corel's website to get that uh, free license. So you can take a look at it and uh, see what it can do for you. And that's not just a trial. That's the full version of the software. And Aftershot's a very capable product in its own right. And if you want to do more, we also have a special offer on, uh, on upgrading to Aftershot Pro as well. Fantastic. So is there any other Very URLs good. or um, anywhere else that people can take a look at just Corel's software in general? Is there somewhere you want to uh, send them? Yeah, I think the best place to go is to check us out at uh, aftershotpro.com. And on there, you'll find a full array of information about 
what Aftershot can do, some getting started videos, a lot of training materials, and you can also read about all of the cameras that we support, and there's hundreds of them, so I encourage everyone just to go to AftershotPro.com and, and check out the product for themselves. There's a 30-day trial of the Pro product, and of course, uh, you can redeem the offer that you guys have going as well. Yeah, and like you said, awesome. that was not a trial version of Aftershot uh, 3. That is the full version that you will get a license to. So that's awesome. I, you know, A lot of people are hesitant to putting trial wear you know, onto their system and then later on uh, not liking and having to delete it. This is actually the full program that you guys get. Um, so that is great. We, we definitely thank Corel for that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me, guys. It's been great. And good luck with the show. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You've been watching the Digital Photography Cafe Show with Trevor Curran and Joseph Christina. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with any compatible device by visiting youtube.com forward slash dphoto cafe. Be sure to subscribe to our audio feed through iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Xbox Music apps or through RSS. Visit digitalphotographycafe.com for show notes and to connect with your hosts.